Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of computer power boards with damaged control circuits, but the remaining components such as filter coils, capacitors and transformers are still working very well. Most of the transformers used are EE35 with a real capacity of 350 watts. I took advantage of these transformers and then rewound to form the source circuit as I wanted. Here is a power circuit that uses an EE35 transformer with an output voltage of 35 volts. And here is another circuit that also uses an EE35 transformer. In addition, I have many other power circuits using transformers EE42, EE55 like here. Have you ever wondered how I can calculate the number of turns of each transformer? How do I know what wire size I need and how many turns to get the voltage I want? This is a software that I use to calculate the number of turns of a coil. This software can calculate push-pull, half-bridge, full-bridge, applicable to both conventional and toroidal transformers. I will give you detailed instructions on how to use this software after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. One fact about them, JLCPCB is the largest PCB prototype and supplier in China. With over 10,000 online orders per day. The product capacity is over 620,000 square meter, one layer or two layer PCB. Upload the Gerber files to get PCB with high quality and low price. First we need a transformer with no internal clearance. Ask the seller if it's EE35 or EE42, if we can't determine it, we will use a ruler to determine it. This is the EE35 transformer core taken from the computer power supply, with the size parameters as above. First, we will choose the input voltage. For switching mode power supply, 230 volts AC is the common voltage in most countries. Of course 110 volts AC or 125 volts AC is fine. Next is the working frequency of the circuit. I usually choose from 45 kHz to 80 kHz. Next is the output voltage and output power. For transformer EE35 maximum capacity 350 watts. Here I want to output 35 volts 350 watts. We'll also enter the wire size we currently have. I usually use wire sizes below 0.5 mm. Next is the type of power rectification by the output diode. Look at the picture below, I will use dual rail with center tap. Next is the selection of transformer core and core material. Ask the seller for details. For core I am using is E35 and material is PC40. Click the calculate button. Notice the parameters I marked.
I will change the primary wire size from 0.5 mm to 0.3 mm. In the end, we have the following result. Primary, 40 turns of lits wire 0.3 mm x5 or 0.5 mm x1. Secondary, 10 turns lits wire 0.3 mm x10. After having the parameters, we will wrap half of the primary turns, then the secondary, the remaining half of the primary turns. When using 0.5 mm wire for primary, it will be a bit hot due to the increased current, we can use a fan to dissipate heat. In return, we will have more wrapping space for the secondary. After winding the primary half A with magnetic wire, we will wrap an additional layer of insulation with insulating tape. Next we will wrap the secondary with the size, number of turns, calculated in the software. Finally we will wrap a layer of insulation with insulating tape, then we wrap the second primary half of the primary coil. Here is the transformer after we have finished. All the components on the circuit you can buy from Outsource.net, most of the components I use are ordered from them. This is the official website of UTSource.net. Here you can buy most electronic components such as MOSFET, sensor, transistor, diode. You just need to type the name of the component in the search bar you will get the results and the price almost immediately. Refer to the website link in the description for more details. Here is the circuit after I finished it. I have shared including calculation software and printed circuit file. You can download the file in the description. This is the output voltage of the circuit. It is almost exactly with the software we calculate. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.